Uh, good morning, dear listeners. Today we uh, come to the next uh, podcast of the series No Age Ontology, uh, which is the subject of my book, The Joy of Timelessness. And uh, today we speak about the timeless I am that I am in the Judeo Christian tradition. So basically, in the book of Exodus, um, we find God's name uh, revealed to Moses. And that uh, name has been translated as more or less as I am that I am, or I am what I am, um, and I, or the one who is. I mean, it, there are different translations and different possibilities. But um, what we're interested here is the hidden meaning of this revelation. Um, So this timeless I am that I am, uh, it's, um, it's, it's, it's basically uh, an abstraction of the mind of pure being of reality. It is basically pure awareness of reality, reality before thoughts and free from perceptions, associations and memories. Uh, you know, we have uh, different teachings and uh, some teachings identify uh, this um, basically potentiality or uh, abstraction uh, I am that I am with uh, with uh, identifiable being with certain characteristics uh, but these are actually uh, transmitted in order to communicate to uh, sentient beings which are attached to form and fixed identities uh, and uh, usually the revelation is about some relative truths uh, moral principles and uh, the laws of realities are usually um, transmitted uh, for their own benefit. And this is because sentient beings cannot uh, fathom the timeless nature of being as their own very nature. So the timeless being, uh, in this case, the I am that I am, is it's basically an abstraction. It's, uh, it's a pure potentiality. And... Um, and uh, we can find this in uh, different hermetic teachings, but uh, it's also, um, it was also revealed uh, to Moses um, as the name of God at the time. So we also have this, um, this um, um, perspective. And uh, just to say that, of course, uh, religious teachings uh, are all manifested directly from, from the timeless uh, potentiality of being uh, and it's possible you know for uh, for these to for these principles to be uh, transmitted uh, but it's always transmitted according to the culture and according to the mind and according to the spiritual uh, development of the sentient beings to whom it is revealed so this is just a brief introduction there is much more uh, that can be found in uh, the book uh, Noage Ontology but also in my other book The Infinite Faces of God and um, where um, we try in that book there are much more um, there is much more information about these principles uh, according to the Christian tradition uh, so Thank you for listening and uh, I will uh, speak to you in the next pod podcast about another tradition uh, which is the Advaita Vedanta wisdom tradition of non-duality. So we go from uh, one tradition to another tradition just to have different uh, perspective uh, about these days of timeless pure being as it is spoken in different ways with different words. Uh, bearing in mind that no words can actually describe it and one has to have uh, uh, one's own experience of it. Um, thank you for listening.